All right, so I got the Band Four Swords deck shuffled up. Let's just see how it works. Let's see what kind of hands I get. Three. Sudoom. Let's see what I got. Okay, Sword and Feast of Famine, Guys of St. Traft, Fetchland, <laughs> both been in leaks. Tim Grind is second. That's a weird hand. That's a really weird hand. I think I'd keep it. Okay, so first thing I do, one swept teeth. Uh, my opponent takes a turn to end the turn. I would crack that for a breeding pool. Breeding pool down. Shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, so it comes to play tapped. My turn untaps. Draw a card. Forest, okay. So. Still don't have anything to get down, but whatever my opponent does, I'm going to leak it, slow them down, I don't care what it is. So they take their turn, they finish their turn, I just leaked whatever they did, so I draw a card, and there we go. So let's get the Temple Garden down, tap for three. Green, green, green. The phone, she goes green, green, green. I pink it up and I say yellow. Uh, let's get troll so I've got something to block whatever they send at me. Untap. Troll is a bigger threat than the Geist right now. Probably should have played the Geist. I don't know. Okay, I could get the sword down. can't equip it so let's I don't have a path to exile so it doesn't matter but let's go ahead and pretend I do let's go ahead and make them think I do have a path to exile we're leaving the temple garden untapped we'll get the voice of resurgence down attack the troll of course attacking the troll entirely depends on what they have for blockers because I can't regenerate him I'm not going to send him to die I like my troll <clears throat> okay. It's more interesting. So I can't I don't have anything that needs four mana. So there's no point in cracking this now, so I'll play this with Misty Rainforest. Um might as well get the sword down now because I do have two blockers so I don't need a creature, another creature right now and it's just the Geist anyway and I'm going to assume at this point in the game they do have something that can kill the troll ascetic so I'm not going to send him to die I might send the voice for certain to die but only if I think that I would trade I'm not going to send him to be killed with the token that doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense Okay, end of my opponent's turn to crack a fetch. What's my life at now? Minus two, minus four. Depending on what else my opponent has done. I'm at about 16. So I've got, let me get the uh, hollow fountain so I've got all three. So I've got two blue, two white, three green available. That's That's pretty good. Okay, so untap, draw, okay, so we carry it. Now the question is, what are they playing? If they're playing something green or black, then it doesn't matter which of these creatures gets the sword, it's going to get through because they can't block it. Um, if they're playing, say, Merfolk, Borrow Spurn, Death and Taxes, Soul Sisters, they can easily block whenever I equip with the sword, but I might as well do it anyway. So, 
equip the troll with the sword, send him out, and see what happens. Let's assume they block. Well, he's a 5-4, so he's, I probably don't need to regenerate him. Since I don't need to regenerate him, I'm safe in playing the Sylvan Carry to it, even though I should probably keep mana up for the Metal League. I want to get more aggressive to make up for my slow start. I'm seeing this deck kind of has the same slow start problems that Troll Worship did. But maybe you can recover faster if <laughs> there's a worship. Alright, so... I still don't have an Elspeth to give creatures flying to get damage through. I'm thinking maybe the Mall of the Skyclaves was a better idea for this deck because it gave the creature flying so it can get through. But that's all it does, because it's flying first strike, 2-2. Two, two. That's all it does, it just gets flying first strike and 2-2. Two, two. Uh, no other effects like the swords do. Depending on my life total, if I was starting to get hammered, say against burn, I would play the worship. Hmm. So I would send the troll out again and see what happens. Either he gets through or I kill something. Let's say I kill something because they don't want me to... Uh, of course I'm not untapping anything. Hmm. This is kind of frustrating. Draw. Okay, another troll. Hmm. Get down to Geist. I still have. Let's give him something else to think about. And attack with the troll. If I keep hammering with the troll, at some point I might get through depending on what they're playing. If Soul Sister is, I'll just keep putting tokens in front of it and it won't matter. Hmm. But let's say it does get through. Let's say the troll does get through and I get to untap. And they have to discard a card. Okay, so... I can get the worship down. So I knock over the pulse from the National Park Service Jeep here. Okay, so get worship down. They take their turn. I can't counter anything because it needs two mana. So they can. I'm not sure what they would do. Untap. Draw. Okay, that's interesting. This is kind of weird. Let me shuffle up and do another one. Um, I'm sure that was a good test of it, a good taste of what could happen, but to get two out of three guys and both mana leaks in my opening hand, it's kind of weird, but weird can happen when you're playing randomly and drawing a random hand of seven cards each time you start the game. So seven... See what I get now. Troll, land, geist, hierarch, land, sword. Ooh, this is much better. Much better. So I can forest. Doesn't hurt me. Get down a hierarch. Good start. Untap. Draw. Okay, troll ascetic. No. To be unexpected because I do have four of the bastards in the deck. Okay, wins foot peace. Play it there. Um, whatever my opponents do, mana leak it if it looks halfway threatening. End of their turn. Wins foot peace goes into probably. I've got all three colors there. I've got green there. I need blue white. So that way, if 
the Noble Hierarch gets killed, I still have access to all three of my colors. Okay, so on tap, draw, another hierarch. So if I play the Geist now, at least I have a hexproof beater. So my opponent does their bullshit, I take my turn. Hopefully they didn't kill a hierarch. Draw. Hmm. Okay. In any case, nothing here really costs four. I could get the sword down and another hierarch, so let's do that. Tap her for her sister. Tap these two. Sacrifice that. Take three more damage. Do I need to take any damage? Yeah, let's get it out anyway. Take three more damage. Temple Garden. Tap for Sword of Light and Shadow. Now Geist can attack and he would be a 4-4. The Angel would also be a 4-4. You would get the two exalted triggers. Um, it would all depend on what the opponent has on their board. If they have anything, say, 3-3 three, three or bigger, I might not do it because if they kill one of the Hierarchs, if they're playing black or one of my white decks, it has Path to Exile and they get rid of a Hierarch. No, but he's already attacked. They would have to do it before, so I go to combat. Okay, go to combat. Nothing. When he's declared an attacker, as soon as he's declared an attacker, he gets the two exalted triggers locked in. So he is a 4-4 four, four at that point. Um, and most of my decks don't have any instant combat tricks, so attack of the Geist, attack of the Angel. Smash! Alright, so my opponent takes her turn. Breeding pool. Okay, so <clears throat> take two more damage, I'll tap those, give him the Sword of Light and Shadow, so he, now he's a 4-4, four, four. <clears throat> protection from black and white, go to combat, if there's no moves against the Hierarchs and they stay, and he attacks, he gets exalted triggers, he's now a 6-6, six, six. protection of black and white. Um, so, <laughs> if, if my opponent is playing either my black deck or my white deck, they're not blocking him. So they get hit, I gain 3 life. <coughs> and uh, there's nothing to raise, so... Alright, so they take their turn. Probably should play the troll. Okay, another Geist. So, let's tap them in this for a troll. Leave mana to regenerate it in case I need a blocker because at this point in the game I probably do. Attack with the Geist. Let's say he gets blocked, but the Angel hits. Smash. For four. Okay. More interesting. I kind of like this deck. <laughs> number three. So, tap forest, play number three. I need more ways to draw cards in this deck, I'm seeing that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I really would like to draw the sword, sword of Forge and Frontier in order to see how that works. But anyway, when he attacks now, so he'll be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Angel will be 4-4. Four, four. So that's attack. So he attacks. If he gets through, I gain 3 life. Smash for 7. Tap these 3. 
play another troll. A stroke can regenerate one of them if they need a block. Looking pretty good. So draw. Oh, there's Thrun. <clears throat> okay. So this deck is. It's fun. It's it's interesting. I need more card draw, but every deck needs card draw, doesn't it? Um, and I'm probably spoiled by playing Commander so much because in Commander every color has some kind of card draw now and if it doesn't there's some artifact that can shore it up uh, which is why I need another memory jar for uh, Karavik really think I'm going to miss having that in him but as it is Nekazar does need it more uh, Sharoom can recur it better. So I think Karavik have to wait. He did get the Bonders Enclave though. So let's do one last go through with Bant Four Swords. And we'll imagine that we're playing against Absent Evolution. Oh Jesus Christ, this is terrible. Only one land. And I can't if that was a forest. But no it's not. So, back at the end, another sleeve is splitting. I forget what brand of sleeves these are, but they're crap. I split three just in the last uh, shuffle session before I did this. So what do I got now? Two heaths, planes, thrun, Okay, let's put a Heath on the bottom. Okay, so I need to windswept Heath. Let's get something with the blue because I'm holding a planes in my hand. Okay, tap that. For a higher arc. Okay, my opponent takes her turn, I start my next turn. Draw a Temple Garden. Okay. Tap those two for Sylvan Carry to did. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Now I have four mana. So this is turn two. And next turn, turn four, I will have five mana. So if I had something to uh, to equip it to, I could put swords in it. I could give it to Noble Hierarch, I suppose, if I had a sword but I don't. So I don't need to play that tapped. Let's get down Thrun. One, two, three, four. Thrun. Can't be countered. Can't be targeted. Just beats face. Because the oldest trolls are the angriest. Okay, my opponent takes her turn. So an abs in evolution right now. They would have birds, probably. They would have their own voice of resurgence, and they would be attacking me with it. But I can just block the carry to take no damage. Um, they can also have a siege rhino by now, and that would hurt me. It's a 4-5, so Thrun cannot block and kill it, but he can block and regenerate. Of course, I do have the path to exile in my hand. Draw Misty Rainforest. Play it. So what the... And when they go to Elch Evolution, whatever they evolve the creature into, I can exile it. That's what I would be waiting for. If they're pay, playing Abs and Evolution, I would wait for this, for them to cast Eldritch Evolution and destroy, exile the creature that they're uh, bringing in because it would be something nasty. Could be Archangel of Thune, Thune uh, for the Kitchen Finks combo. Um, could be Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. Could be just a Sea Tron or whatever it is I wouldn't want to do with it. So what do I have now? 
I am free to get down this other troll. And depending what they have in their board, I can attack with Thrun. I still have this to regenerate him, but he would be a 5-5, five five, so attack with him. He would be a 5-5. Five five. Even if they kill the Hierarch, I can still sacrifice the Misty Rainforest to go get another land to regenerate him. So, they take their turn. Probably have a Siege of Rhino out, so they train me for three. That's not really helping. I really need a sword. Or an Elspeth. Maybe what I should do, or against Abs and Evolution, dressed down is good. It saves me for a turn. Maybe it's not good, it only saves me for a turn. Hmm. But anyway, I can attack with Thrun for five. When they attack back with the Siege Rhino, okay, <laughs> I can block with the Troll and I only take two points of trample damage. Now if they get the Wilt Leaf Liege down, that's going to be really bad for me because it'll be a 6-7. Siege Rhino, another land. Okay. Hmm. So, as far as playing it out, the deck is okay. What I really need to do is test it live against another deck and see how it actually operates. Remember, this deck, the core of it is from 2012. The core of this deck is 14 years old. And it might just not be a viable strategy anymore. Nobody's playing it as far as I know. Um, I don't know the last time people were really playing swords in modern. I should look that up on MTG Top 8. See the last time anybody played swords seriously in modern. But in any case, it should be good against my, uh, my other... It has game. It definitely has game against some of my other decks. It has ways to deal with... Uh, well, Merfolk would just run over it. Just too fast. Black... Hmm. Black can't really do much because its removal is blanked. The white decks, the removal is blanked against the creature that I'm actually attacking with. Uh, what else? Burn? So, this deck feeds into Burn because I'm hurting myself with the shock lands and fetch lands. And I have minimal ways of gaining life. But I do have worship. Burn does not like worship because Burn in game one cannot do a damn thing about it. It's not until they can sideboard in those disenchants that they can do something. So let me get this posted to all of you. Things.